Good day, it's Dwayne with phoenixtypewriter.com. I'm going to show again how to meld a broken piece of plastic. This time I'm going to use uh, paper clips. Still using metal, reinforcement, that's the plan. Last time I used a, you know, a paper clip like this. Or not a paper clip, a washer like that, a lock washer. But the same thing will work with paper clips that's or any metal piece that is appropriate. So we're going to bust this knife in half and do it again. Let's bust this sucker. Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So we got two pieces. Luckily, it's a fresh break, and you can almost fit these back together without a gap. Look at that. Well, sort of. It's got a little bit of a piece here protruding we're just going to take that piece off let's see if we can get these two pieces lined up yeah, they look like they mesh up pretty good if they don't, if you just got two rough pieces you need to somehow you know, clamp them together or tape them together or put a rubber band around here or whatever you got to do to make them you know, get that gap squeezed shut what we're going to do is try as a drop of super glue again and just a minimal amount there and we're just going to use that to try to get this lined up and set in position which doesn't look like it wants to exactly line up but let's give it a try here if I squeeze it together, that gap goes away pretty good, but I don't think that's going to hold. I think the way it broke, there's some stress there. See, when you release the pressure, there's a gap. But let's hold it here for 10 or 20 seconds and see if that uh, see if that a hold just temporarily. Nope. Mm. Not gonna hold this one, but that's okay. We'll we'll just do it the old way and line it up here on the ground. So we have to. Sometimes the plastic piece there's a front and a back. We you know you want to try to make that weld on the the back. Well, that's not lining up much. But let's just go ahead and tape it down. We'll try to squeeze it together that way alright there's that gap it's pretty small right there again I think this has to be raised up just a little so let's put something under here to make that gap level okay it looks pretty good so we need to secure this side a little, a little pressure that way. Yeah, let's tape it down. All right, there's still there's a hairline crack there. It's hard to see, but you can kind of see it. But we're going to do the best we can with this this preparation. Okay, so what I have here now is a couple of the jumbo paper clips. These are the bigger ones. Sometimes, depending on what you're trying to do, you can use smaller ones. Sometimes if the material is really small, you can you can grind this down and make it even smaller if it's a micro repair type thing. Because these are generally for business machines, so smaller pieces of plastic that break. Okay, so we got a couple pieces, and I'm going to, uh, I just want to make a, a mat of, you know, whatever this, cover that gap about this, this much here. So, I'm going to melt that part into the plastic. I'm going to do two of them. So here's the second one. Just manipulating this plastic or this uh, paper clip. I'm going to heat it up. I'm going to push it right in here. Just like that. And 
the second one same thing just like that so let's do this let's crank the torch up it looks closer to the camera than it is and then uh, okay let's go ahead and get this thing all red hot and sometimes you can just use a lighter sometimes you need to use a small torch sometimes you need to use a big torch all depends on the size of the metal you're trying to heat up again this particular one we need to get it red hot because it's going to cool off by the time we put it down there okay here we go See it melt right in there and then take your finger and just cover it up like that with the melted plastic and put a little water on it to cool it right away. So there's our first one. Alright, let's heat up the second one here. Let me grab it. Let me heat up the second one here. See, it's got a fan blowing on it. It's not very... Not the best idea, but okay, here it goes. And we're just going to sink that in right next to it, right there. And get it down far enough where it, and then you can tap it with your hand or tap it with something to get that plastic to go around the, around that paper clip. So, this one here is a little deeper, and I got that plastic to go kind of around and this is one that's not quite as deep but you can see that it's down in there this side a little bit of a it kind of went through that one a little bit you can see the irregularity there this is the chip that was in there so let's take the uh, Dremel tool and cut these little ends off It doesn't take much to uh, get this to come off. If it's strong enough, to, you're not going to risk uh, popping that out because it's in there pretty good. are broken off. There is the repair. So that is a melding repair I call that. This side's not too bad. You can see a little bit of that irregularity that melted through but but pretty good. This definitely has a lot of strength uh, this direction like this. This is pretty strong. I mean, I can almost cut through this. So it's pretty strong this this way. It's this flexing that that is still the weakest of the points. So let's take a look at another knife and see again how much flexing it takes. It flexes quite a bit before it breaks. That's that's a lot of flex. Let's just see how strong this one is. We're gonna, if you really want it strong too. By the way, you can do this side too. Um, I would, if I was gonna do both sides, to be particular, I would have set this one up a little higher and this one more in the middle, and then when you do this side, I, the opposite, so the side is the highest, so that way the the two metals won't. You see what I mean? They'd be spread out. You could do both sides, and that would be doubly strong. But we only did one because in case this side is the side that you look at, we don't want to see anything. This side's got the metal repair. Okay, let's flex this and just see how strong it is. We broke that one. And we know it's strong this direction. 
this way is the weak spot. So let's flex this. Still flex is pretty. That's a lot of flex for a broken knife. Oh, there it goes. I heard it crack already. Wow. It just bended. It, it did finally break that piece out of there, but it's still holding. That's a pretty good repair. I don't care what you say. I'm going to do some more of these, and we're going to we're going to show you how to meld all kinds of different plastic in the next month or so. I just need to find some other broken plastic pieces so we can show some other, uh, you know, some other sizes and some other shapes and some other, uh, you know, there's different uh, kinds of plastic and they react a little different too. And then maybe even show how strong it gets when we put epoxy on it and do a strength test. But like I said, I've been doing this a long time. Simple tools, a little heat. A little, you know, just basic stuff. Nothing you have to buy. All right, good day. PhoenixTypeWriter.com.